This is Cory. Welcome to the Coriolis Diamond Painting Effect. Today I have a review on a diamond painting that I just completed. Um, this one came uh, from Ten Me Arts. I named it Sleepy Owl. I noticed that they named it Smiling Owl. But before I get into my review of that, I just want to, at the end of my last video, I talked a little bit about what's going on with me. And I, I, I know that a lot of you only watch the beginning, see what it's all about, and then, and then you, then you go on to something else. So I wanted to talk real quick about this now. I have been, I have had a neck injury that I got years and years ago, and um, like I was in my twenties, and um. I've been struggling with it over the years and it's gotten worse. It's, it has gotten worse. And I knew that diamond painting was affecting it. It was it was making it difficult. I didn't care. I loved diamond painting and so I continued to do it. But I am to the point now where I can't. Um my doctor has asked me to stop for at least 2 weeks and I have done the 2 weeks. I didn't stop completely, but I stopped mostly. And um, when the two weeks was up, I went ahead and finished this one because I had started this. Uh, this probably would have just taken a week if I could have just done it how I normally do it because this is a, a, sh a small diamond painting. Um, <clears throat> it's not real small, but... Anyway, I just want to tell you guys that you really do need to pay attention and listen listen to your body. I don't want to end up one of those people who I can't even use my hands. Right now, my requirement is that I can't do anything that causes me to look down. So basically, all crafts are out for me right now. I can't pick up anything, uh, any, anything heavy with my arms because it's my upper back and neck. Um, so I'm in the new, I'm trying to recondition my mind to do that kind of, be that kind of a diamond painter where I only diamond paint a little bit each day. And it's killing me. It really is killing me. Because it was my life. <laughs> um, I did do other things, but when I don't have things planned, diamond painting is what I like to do. And I would go for a whole day diamond painting. So I just, I'm just, I just really want you guys to get up and take short breaks when you're diamond painting. Get up, walk around, flex your neck, muscles, you know, back and forth. I know I already had an injury that is, that's being aggravated, but this can happen to anybody. Um, uh, flex your neck muscles, you know, just kind of lean your head to one side and then the other very slowly um, one of the other things the doctor had me do one of these things that will help me continue diamond painting is you find a corner a corner wall where you can put your your hands on each wall shoulder level and just sort of do push-ups into the corner not you know just lean into the wall and then push yourself out lean into the wall and push yourself out and um, and then there's a uh, there's one. It's called the he, I call it the chicken. It's where you sit at, sit as straight as you can, and then poke your chin out as far as it'll go, like your chicken strutting down the street, and you just do that. <clears throat> so, anyway, I just want to help you guys out. Those are things that you can do along the way that will maybe help you prevent an injury that will stop you from being able to diamond paint. Uh, if you keep your neck's muscles strong so they can support how they're supposed to support, you can alleviate problems. Um, I'm not a doctor. Um, I, you know, you and every individual is different, but I believe these are exercises that can help anybody um, if they don't have another pre-existing problem that would you know, make it so you shouldn't do something like that. Anyway, okay, back to my diamond painting. This is a sleepy owl. 
it's 35 by 45 it's a round full drill it is by Ted Me Arts it came in a box like this it has a little picture on the bottom of it um it came with um I don't know what toolkit it came but it came in a roll sleeve the back of this is a soft flannel like backing and honestly it felt a lot like a diamond art club it's not quite there it's not quite diamond diamond art club but um it it's close if i you know it's a close second i wish timmy arts had more more to choose from um and i got i got mine they have it on an amazon uh link that you can buy on Amazon but I got mine on AliExpress this one had 25 colors um I had plenty of drills um as you can see I've got plenty left I I wasn't there were a few that I was a bit concerned about but as soon as I looked and saw you know that I really didn't have that many more to do with that thing um the ones that have a little less in here it means I have another big one over here that I was working from so anyway and that's what I use these uh, from Dollar Tree for my overflow of what wouldn't fit in this one uh, but I really enjoyed it I use my new four placer a lot uh, that I got from uh, Aliexpress um, I'll try to remember to link that in the in the link in the link below. Um, I paid ten dollars and forty three cents for it, and this one got to me in seventeen days. And you know, it was it was fun. This was a joy. I enjoyed doing it. Um, if it weren't for my back issues, it would have been a lot more fun. Um, I'm trying experimenting with ways to use an easel. Uh, instead of my my style of diamond painting is I literally take my tray and I put it down on my diamond painting so I can go quick and you can't diamond paint like that when you're doing it on an easel so I'm, I'm you know that's definitely gonna be a game changer it's gonna slow me down and you know there's a lot of things new things I'm gonna need to have to learn how to how to do and how to deal with but I'm I'm not out I'm not out of this yet I'm I'm definitely slowing down but I'm not down I'm I'm still in this I I'm still planning to diamond paint I still want to buy more diamond paintings I you know right now the only thing holding me back is financial um, so uh, I really I really do love this craft and um, I hope to continue doing it um, thank you for joining me for the Coriolis diamond painting effect I hope I'll see you again in the next one okay there's a few things I forgot to mention I, I do this every time I need to learn how to cut and splice so that I you know it's part of the whole video and you don't even know this happened but Anyway, I forgot to mention about the drill quality. And um, they were, it was excellent. It was very, very nice. I, there was very little trash. There were a few, if there was, it would be a drill, if there was something wrong, it would be one that got cut in half. Or there was a few that had a skirt around them. But other than that, the drills were perfect. Uh, and they, they were nice. The stickiness was nice too. Uh, you know, it, it held firmly. If you needed to move, you know, if you needed to, you could, didn't get it positioned right, you could move it. Uh, but it wasn't real slippery either. So that was all good. And I also didn't mention that um, it is a 35 by 45. This is a 35 by 45 diamond painting. And, um, so that's all this time. I'll see you in the next one.